good YouTube? This your boy JDiggy92 coming at y'all with another review. And today we got a shoe. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to do uh, an actual vid on, but you know what? I figured if people went through the same problem I went through trying to cop some Tim's online, bruh, I got you. So that's the whole reason I made this vid. So this vid is the review as y'all see in the thumbnail on the Timberland Pesto Green Jones um, that I caught from uh, the actual Timberland store. Now, excuse me, y'all don't have to actually cop Tim's from like the Timberland store. You can pretty much get Tim's wherever. I just got them. at the store because they were cheaper than like a Foot Locker or something of that uh, matter. But um, yeah, if y'all watched the past vlog, vlog 26, the cashing out and blowing bands, y'all y'all seen me pick these up in person, and you seen the problem that I was having with them personally. Now, when I say problem. I mean the sizing problem. So I in the video, if you watch, you know I tried on like shit. I don't even know like two different pairs. I tried on first I tried on this 11 right here that I got in my hand. Then I tried on the uh, 10 and a half. Now what this video really is about. Cause I mean I don't really gotta go over Tim's. Like everybody know Tim's butter is fuck, nice ass leather, really good shoe strings with the little flip tab jump. What I wanna talk about and spend most of my time on is sizing. But just for the shits and giggles and the fact that I I gotta get out the way, we gonna go over the basics of the shoe. So pretty much you got this all I ain't even gonna say like dark green. I wish it was dark green. Nah, it's a little bit lighter, but you can make it work. Y'all seen when I just did, I went like that. I tried to compare. Uh, these kind of, kind of, sort of like the same green. Um, it's like that hunter's green. It's not like a really dark flannel green. It's more so like the, uh, not like OG green. I don't, I don't really know what green is used. Like, Pesto color, shit. Go with pesto, cause that I mean that's what they call. It's like this pesto green. The leather on these is amazing. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like this back part, this jump is so plush and spongy. This jump feels amazing. Then of course the materials on this. That all buttery new butt. I'm gonna have to spray these with some crap or something so they don't uh, get messed up. And then of course you got that mid sole. Uh, it's like brownish like a little dark brown like a cedar color almost uh with the orange laces as y'all can see i'm taking the orange laces out i ain't really fucking with it i'm gonna put the all green jumps in because the orange ones is kind of throwing off my vibe you know what i'm saying i can't vibe with these bright ass orange things so i'm gonna take these out see how i look with the green in the video so y'all can see for yourself too but yeah now that we got that out of the way B-roll should have came up, all that extra good shit, right? Now we done got that out the way. We gonna talk about the sizing on Tim's. Now, like I said, if y'all watched the vid, y'all know I tried on two different pair of Tim's, right? It was the 10 and a half, and shit, I should probably do this in front of y'all. Cause y'all might wanna know how I lace my shoe, fuck it. Yeah, I just, I just go inside, not outside, if that makes sense. I lace them up like foam posits almost. But yeah, um, y'all seen the, the vlog, y'all know how difficult it was for me to actually like get a good fit. So the story. I was talking about my girl, my bad. But um, the story behind these 
and why I really actually wanted a pair is because of sneaker steals. Now I'm not shouting out sneakers, sneaker steals on this particular instant because they didn't fail me. It's just the fact that them bitches was gone. So to make a long story short, I hesitated, but uh, needless to say, I still managed to get a pair of these in my car. Then I got cart jacked at the last minute because the website kicks you and say, fuck my, um, my, I guess like order count up. It said I had two pairs of these in my cart, but in actuality I didn't. I only wanted to order one. So I ended up trying to update it and when I updated it, they pretty much told me the shoe was damn sold out. So I didn't get a chance to get them. And they were only, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like $69.99 or something with like free shipping or something like that. It was something real low, but I ended up copying these. Side note, y'all see how much better that shit look than the orange ones? Like, that, sh that orange is ass. But, um, yeah, so I ended up, uh, not being able to get those. Uh, and in the vlog, you'll. Uh, y'all hear the full story vlog 26 if y'all really want to hear the full story but ended up not copying them because of that and uh i really wanted a pair of Tim's. like i've been wanting a pair of Tim's for a long time now but it's just that 190 i don't be trying to drop on some Tim's. like with jordan's i ain't got no other choice but with Tim's, nigga i'm cool on it like i'll i'll wait until them bitches go on sale or something. I ain't, I ain't fucking with that 190 for some boots. I mean, it's good quality and all that uh, other shit, but I still ain't trying to vibe with that shit. Y'all know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, I got the bread. It's just, I don't, I don't be trying to spend it. That's how you keep the damn bread. But, so needless to say, we went to the Timberlands outlet and put Tommy Mills. Well, not even an outlet, the Timberland store. And it was pretty much the $69.99, just like the website. But in here, I got the discount or whatnot. And it, I think it came up to like $67. Or, it was something like lower than what I would have paid on uh, the other website where I was trying to get these in the first place. So, I mean, it was a come up, it was a win, it was a dub for the day. And uh, then the rest of the vlog happened uh, that y'all can go watch. I know I'm promoting the fuck out that vlog, but go watch the vlog. Uh, it's some good stuff in that vlog. But, um, yeah, when it comes to sizing, I had the most difficulty because I didn't know what size to get. And the reason I couldn't cop these online is because I didn't know what size to get. So, what I want to talk mostly about in this review is sizing, like I stated earlier. Now, sizing wise, I would like to wear my Tim's loose, but if I did, I ain't gonna fake. Them bitches would be like, <laughs> if I wore these loose, this is a size 11. Let me just put it this way if I wore these loose in a size 11, they'd be flopping on my damn feet. Simply because I just can't wear Tim's loose. And like, I wear an 11 and a half in Jordan 1's, if that'll help y'all out. Um, with sizing or whatnot. I wear an 11 and a half in Jordan 1's, and I tried to get an 11, and this is the 11 I got. Um, so I tried it on, and as y'all can see in the vlog, I don't know if I put the clip up. I probably didn't because I ain't feel like it. But as y'all can see in the vlog, that joint was kind of flopping on my feet if I was wearing it dumb loose. So I had to end up trying on the 10 and a half. And the 10 and a half fit too, but I couldn't wear that one loose because it was flopping on my feet. Like, I like, bro, it was such a fucking dilemma. And like, the 10 and a half looked dumb small on my foot. And like, I'm a big ass. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm like big asses fat i'm like i'm tall nigga like i'm six six two damn near six three on a good day so i'm not trying to 
have my shoes look all small and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just don't look right. So I ended up going with the 11 simply because I didn't want a small ass shoe on my big ass foot. And plus I had like loose socks and all that other shit. I mean, it really don't make a difference, but I told my, I convinced myself it did, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when it comes to sizing for Tim's, really, you want to go a half size down. That's what I'm noticing, is that you want to go a half size down, because if not, and you get your true size, you screw because these jumps are built big as fuck. And I mean, I know you want like room and your foot might be wide or whatnot, but bro, trust me, half a size down or you're gonna be looking like a fucking goofy. You're gonna look like you got fireman's boots on, nigga. And like, you don't, especially if you in school, you ain't trying to get roasted. You got the fresh kicks on with them jumps look like clown shoes. So you look like a clown, even if you got the fresh shoes on, you know what I'm saying? Um, so just in my personal opinion, you can always try Tim's on in store yet. There's always that option. But if you want to steal to where them shits are selling out dumb fast because they had a really low price like mine was, and you don't have time, just remember this video. Half size down. Like, I'm telling you, you're not going to go wrong. Like, you can I would say you can go full full size down, but I mean I wouldn't risk it. Just weigh your jumps a little tighter, unless you want like if you want your shit like mad loose, then maybe go full size down. But a half size down, you'll be straight. Like either way. So that's just my personal opinion on Tim's, and I, I really wanted to put this vid out just so I could inform y'all of like sizing because. That was my problem. Now, if you a nigga that wear Tim's year round, or you just into the Tim game like that, and you know this already, you might be like, nigga, I don't need this review. And that's cool, but I'm here for those people that don't wear Tim's, don't know what size they wear in Tim's, and never wore them. So, those really the people I'm talking to. If you just here to see this shoe, I appreciate it or you just showing love I appreciate it too but I'm really this review is really for those that don't own Tim's never own Tim's or it's been a long time since you owned a pair of Tim's and you just don't know what size they get so you ain't out here looking goofy in these streets so that being said pesto Tim's size 11 half size down and you'll be okay um, looser fit, maybe a full size, but I would preferably, if you can, try a pair of Tim's on in store. Um, I ain't gonna tell your ass to bring a different pair of socks, cause that's doing too damn much. But if you if you want to, nigga, do it. Bring hella socks with you to see how they fit with each pair. Shit, it's your money. Shit, they can't get mad cause you want to try them out before you buy them. So. I ain't even mad. Just don't be looking like my man's was running in that damn Payless trying them shoes on. Now, if you look like that, you OD and you do it too damn much. But, nah, man, this has been the Pesto Timberland Review. Size 11 to 6 inch things. The premium thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, this review helped one of y'all out. Um, the own feet will be be here. It's just not, might not be that many. Uh, clothing options so to say just because it's not I don't really know what to wear with them it's just I can't really wear a lot with them most y'all pretty much gonna get black jeans and khakis like it's pretty much all I would want to wear with these like I don't want to do too much with a all green pair of shoes like you don't want to be looking like a whole tree out this bitch so not that much I can really put in that's with an all green pair of shoes now if these was all black then yeah y'all get different options and I'm definitely not wearing these with shorts because I never would um but yeah I know I'm rapping a lot I just really wanted to help y'all out as far as size and wise because I know that was my biggest problem and I know that's a problem in the YouTube community 
We review a whole shoe, but never tell a nigga what size they need. And that gets to me a lot. So I, I try my best to give y'all the best review possible and tell y'all what. Personally, what I be looking for and searching for on YouTube, I try to make sure I put in a video so y'all not searching and looking when y'all run across my bed. So hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, so go ahead and like it, thumbs up if it did. Even if it didn't, you just want to show some love, go ahead and do that. I greatly appreciate it. Um, share this video with your homies. Share this video with anybody who uh, think about copying a pair of Tims or just want to see some dope shoes that I got for a steal of a price. You know what I'm saying? So uh, go share this with your homies. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can join the motherfucking God Squad. Y'all already know we the best damn squad on YouTube. You buy a motherfucker, all that good shit. Um, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. Shout out to vlog number 26, cashing out and blowing bands out here. Man, I don't even know how much I spent. I just know it was that shit was well over 500. Well, I ain't gonna fake that shit was over 500. I think it had to be, but uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. If y'all want to follow me on anything, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snap, Snapchat, all that, JD92. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this. Uh, you want to go follow the art page or shout out to the art page, Finesse Guy Masterpieces. So y'all can go copy out some dope ass art, man. And um, yeah, man, that's pretty much all I want to say. Uh, you got any questions or anything else I may have forgotten to cover? in this vid go ahead and hit me up in the comment section below and i'll definitely respond and get it to you um on feet should be out along with this vid so uh, go watch that so you can see how these jumps look and i'll try y'all i'll try to give y'all like the loose look and the tight look for real for real pause uh <laughs> yeah so just go ahead and look out for that so if y'all see like one shoe tight one shoe loose it's just because i'm trying to show y'all the different style uh of how each look and how they fit on my foot so just be looking out for that and yeah man i'm gonna get y'all up out of here i love y'all thank y'all so much for watching like i always say i will see y'all when i see y'all